Closer to home tonight, City Hall in Boston is broken, and this has nothing to do with the politics. Tiles on the second floor suddenly buckled from the floor. Work crews scrambling to repair this damage. Our Bobby Sisk is joining us live outside of City Hall. And Bobby, what gives? What's causing those tiles to buckle like that? Jonathan, the first thought for many people in this area is that it was being caused by what's happening outside here behind me. The government center T-stop is being worked on, so maybe there was a blast and it shook City Hall and that caused the floor to buckle. However, the city says no, that is not the case. There is another reason, a more simple one. This picture shows the ripple of tile on the second floor of Boston City Hall. That's very scary, and I hope no one was hurt or in the area. At the time, there was very little foot traffic and no injuries. It helped that the registry division closest to this is closed on Wednesdays. It wasn't a, a, an explosion. It was a pop, and it just very peacefully worked its way all the way down to the end where it stopped. For about 50 feet, the thick tile buckled. Workers spent the evening removing it, trying to salvage what they could. The problem, says Michael Galvin with the city, is wear and tear on a building built in 1969. It's a timing and the weakness and the mortar breaking, and then it just popped. It's the first time in this location, but the fourth in City Hall. In an area nearby, you can see where tiles have been replaced. And as for the floor below, it's still structurally sound, Galvin says, two to three feet of solid concrete. It was only six inches thick, then we have to look at it, but no, um, it's happened before. We kind of expect it. Back outside. It probably ran the other way. Kenny Mulrain says she would have been startled by the tile cracking under her. As an outside observer, she thinks something else could be to blame here. It's a curse. It's the ugliest building in the world. Okay, the world may be a bit extreme. Certainly there are strong opinions about the look of this building. As for the construction in this area, the city did have the building checked out for impact, and so far they say it is solid, and as Galvin put it today, it is not going to move. The tiles, the broken ones in that area, should be fully repaired this weekend. I'm live in Boston. Bobby Sis, WBZ News. Lisa, back to you. All right, Bobby, thank you.